each in Smash 4. But again, uh, these players have been placed on stream, so we'll have to see if one of them ends up, you know, foregoing their usual main or finding a new main today. Who knows? Uh, keyboard, of course, showing off uh, his namesake, I guess. And you do see someone uh, going over here. A keyboard. It is going to be uh, the hero coming up in keyboard. Ryuki will be uh, playing Bayonetta. So Bayonetta versus the hero. One, go. Game one on PS2, and this is where we're gonna see Hero really shine with some of these frizzes and zaps. You know, these are low percent neutral tools, and you can see keyboards already going to use them. Good up smash. He's going for a couple up smashes. Of course, Hero can crit all in snap packs, so you know those might be viable to go for at lower percents than you ordinarily would go for. Them. Down throw, uh, does not get the up air check chase on the platform, but that is apparently a true combo from what I've seen. Space is way out of the way of that, and with that, a frizz. That's devastating. Good Nair, although he does get punished. Well spaced landing area from, from Ryuki, and how will he get back to stage? Just off to go for the regular leash. Dash is in. Now this is where Hero, this is where you can really start to get creative. You can go any one of them. Several ways with this. You can start fishing for some of these downbeats. You can go what he's doing with this Kefriz. You can go with the up smash and hope for these criticals. Although the landing with the Nair on the part of Bayonetta always, you know, been a pretty typical part of anyone playing this character. Ryuki, no exception. Down there, landing on the stage, but here we go. Freeze hits the shield, and the dash attack misses. Very powerful, but a lot of end lag if you do miss, although he does get him off stage with the back throw. Keyboard, how can he capitalize that up smash? He's been going for it so often. And that was his opportunity. He didn't time it well. Bayonetta down there still has that landing lag, and the up smash from Ryuki will take the first stock. Keyboard, a bit of a deficit to make up, but... For the right amount of luck, and there we go. Upwards to Zap, almost doing it. Fully charged S smash on the legs, probably not the best option, but no matter, he presses on. Uh, that a back throw gets back to the stage, and how will he deal with? No, he won't. And as you see there, even though you know that the frizz did not hit, it just does so much. So much shield pressure. It's always going to be, you know, a tool that so many people just looking to pick up the character will lean back on quite a bit. Dash attack will close it out, and that is the first stock we've seen taken from a hero player. Keyboard still very much in this. Just dashing back and forth, taking refuge under the platforms. Uh, Ford. Or dash attack, rather. Down smash! Gets him with the edge guard with the down smack band out of players. That has not escaped since Smash 4. Now we're going to see Keyboard really be in trouble here. How can he do this? Hero's disadvantage state still yet to be really figured out. Although his neutral state is still in question as well. Forward throw. Just going to be intercepted by Bayonetta's the side special. Dash attack not quite, but now space is out of the way of the forward smash, but unable to land a dash attack punch with his own. That forward smash will connect. And that is game one for Ryuki. Just uh, two stocks left. A bit of damage in that second stock, but still very, uh, very solid play from PS2. I don't know if it's the stage. That's, uh, that was the issue. So we're going to see Kalos on counter pick. Interesting. Uh, obviously Hero, a very new character, hasn't really been able to work out what his best stages are so far, so we'll be able to see some of this. And we do see, at least, you know, the quote-unquote character change as we do see 11 in his ultimate outfit. Game 2 on Kalos. Uh, keyboard going with the down tilt this time to approach, and that up tilt, so laggy, but also so powerful as well. 
just gonna eat a side special punish for that platform usage. Down throw. Down throw to fair is not true from what I've seen, so DIing outwards definitely the optimal move if you see someone going for a down throw up, up air combo. Forward throw, gets the tech chase and gets him with another grab. Of course, Bandai will poke above the stage for that. I don't know if that forward smash will be able to use a counter, but perhaps one of the down Bs might be available if you're willing to you know, take that chance. Just misses entirely the dash attack, and that second dash attack is just eaten up by him with his rapid jab. Ray be doing such solid work. You know, this is not a matchup you have any matchup knowledge in whatsoever. So, just stuffing out approach options and playing as safe as possible is almost certainly the way to go. He does have fully charged Frizz. Uh, so he can put that on deck as he wishes. Keyboard just looking for the opportunity to do that. Now we see some of this kaboom coming out. He gets the snooze as well. Good opportunity to go for this. Flame slash and the Sizz as well. The Hocus Pocus gets the Kamikaze. Oh no, that is certainly not what he wanted. Hocus Pocus, of course, has a multitude of moves you can go for. And Kamikaze is rather unfortunately one of them. That might dissuade Keyboard from going for that for a while. Hocus Pocus, of course, the ultimate, ultimate test of randomness. And right off of that, things were going so well for him, but now he's already up to 71%, counting some of these added guns taking on additional percents from Raiki. Just gonna back off the forward throw. Right, another dash attack not going to connect. It's so powerful when it does, but it seems to be a rarity at this point. Now we see the Bayonetta combos coming out. He DIs away smartly. And now... He's just gonna eat another forward smash. That certainly outranges whatever hero can do from that distance. Gets rid of the Frizz. And that Rapid Chap will send him off stage, opting not to, and he gets another Kamikaze. I'm not sure if that was a misinput, but uh, he's certainly laughing at he, he knows he's having a good time, at least. And why wouldn't you? You know, if you can't, if you are down two stocks, might as well go for the style. It does end the game immediately, so there is a... Uh, there is obviously no opportunity to kill your opponent first in a last stock situation with that. But, you know, before that, 